Wait here, Mercy. Let me go and call Joy to go with us. That one, calling her is a waste of time. She will never agree to go with us. Can't you see? She is too uptight and holier than all. I don't like involving her in anything I'm doing because she is going to refuse it. Let me try first. She is still our friend, remember? Please don't waste my time. My boyfriend can't wait to see me. All right. Joy, here you are. I have been looking for you. You should have known I'm here reading. Never mind, Mercy Boyfriend, ask her to come. Will you go with us? Boyfriend, at this time and age, no I'm not going. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm a child of God. Moreover my parents send me here to study not to do boyfriend. It is very wrong for young girls to concentrate on boyfriend, instead of being focused on their studies and our purpose in life. What is wrong with it? Are you not a girl? I mean every girl should have a boyfriend. Come on girl let's hang out. Stop being uptight. Being a child of God does not mean you will not have boyfriend. Mercy is your church member and still have boyfriend and I am waiting for the lucky person that will be my boyfriend, there is nothing wrong in it. Mercy is my church member, yes, but that does not make her a true child of God. There is difference between child of God and a true child of God. You see, everybody is a child of God, because we are all created in God's image. That alone makes us a child of God, but a true child of God is one that has fear of God and keep God's commandment, that is hating sin and everything called sin. Wordly practices does not move a true child of God, because, I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith, in the Son of God, who loved me, and gave himself up for me, Galatians 2 verse 20. And, if you are a true child of God with fear of God, you will know that everything is wrong with making boyfriend, and girlfriend, in a sinful way allowing distraction in our life, as a young girl or boy, is the beginning of downfall, because it is a sin, and can lead to more sin, which can totally destroy your future, and the end will be had I know, for example it can lead to sex before marriage, and then unwanted pregnant, and then abortion, and then separation from God, because sin separate us from God, which can later affect you, negatively in the future, you see, it is good to stay away from boyfriend, and girlfriend, it can be dangerous. The general principle for everybody is not to allow anything to take the place of God in our lives. Today some people have the desire to come to Christ, yet they find it difficult to do away with things that will become a stumbling block to their salvation. They cleave to the world and show little enthusiasm for Christ. Don't be like such people, because such people will enjoy the transient pleasures of the world, but miss the unfading glory of heaven. Listen, sin could destroy your innocence, tarnish your integrity, destroy your deeds and will, put you into slavery, produce sickness, pain and degeneracy in your life, and put you to death. That is why you must come out of it today. Delay may be dangerous. Sin is an entanglement. Free yourself from it. Helene, what are you still doing there? Leave her, let's go. She can never agree to go with you. Talking to her is a waste of time. I'm coming. Mercy. Please be fast. If you're not in hurry to meet your boyfriend, I'm in hurry too. My boyfriend say I should come immediately, and I can't wait to see him. I'm sorry. Mercy. I will not waste your time. Listen don't allow anybody to push you to sin against God. Remember it is dangerous. Many believers have had their ones flourishing. Christian experiences destroyed by copying harmful practices of others. Usually, it begins with secret admiration and longing for satanic elements and artifacts. Then it graduates to acquiring such objects and habit and allowing them to rule the life of such a believer. Before long, the conscience is deadened. Some have even abandoned the worship of God for idol worship. They now do all manner of blood sacrifices in order to align with the requirements of some influential political and business lords. If you say you are a Christian, be a true Christian that does not allow any form of sin in your life, knowing well that God hates sin, and those who partake in sin have no fear of God and can never be friend of God. Okay, 
Mercy is waiting I have already promised to go with her. Just be careful. Let's go. What did she say? She say she is not going, that she is a true child of God. I told you she can never agree to hang out with anyone, always claiming to be holier than others. Did Jesus said if you are following him, you should not have fun, she acting as if she is the only Christian in this world, I myself, I am a Christian, yet I have a boyfriend, and nothing has happened, so why is she acting holier for Christ's sake? I wonder. A beg, leave her let's have fun, let her continue to deceive herself, I hate to see somebody, claiming to be holier than others. Forget her, let's go, so that she will not spoil our happy mood. Everything is sin, as if she is God, God is not a man, he knew man can never live without sin, but joy will not understand, if God start counting our sin who will be free then? Is okay, let her live with her own understanding why we live with ours. Her own is too much, in fact let me see if she will marry herself, how will she marry if not through boyfriend, and girlfriend? Helene, here we are. This is my boyfriend house. Wow is so beautiful. Let's go in, I just want to be with him. Okay. What is it, you are not looking happy. Listen Helene, boyfriend and girlfriend, can be dangerous, stay away from it. Mercy, let me wait for you here, I don't want to follow you inside. But why, you don't want to follow me, eat the chicken, and wine, you will really miss a lot. Better follow me inside. Don't worry, be going, just be very fast, you know we are going back to school, don't waste time there. Okay, if you insist, as for time, I will not waste time I promise, I will only spend 15 minutes, and I will come out. What is keeping mercy, is more than 3 hours she went in, have she forgotten we are going back to school? And she promised to be fast. This is serious, why is she not coming out, Mercy I know would have come out by now, even if she want to stay more. What do I do now, should I go in? No I don't think is a good idea, let me wait for her more, if I did not see her I will go and call police. This is serious. Officer my friend is in trouble. What happened? She asked me to follow her to her boyfriend house, and I did but decided to wait for her outside, since she promised she will not waste time with her boyfriend, but I'm surprised, she is not coming out, I don't know what is keeping her in there, up till now she has not come out. Girls of nowadays, you can never learn, upon all the bad things that is happening everywhere, especially, of boyfriend using girlfriend for money ritual, you still keep boyfriend, how many times must something happen, before you will learn, you leave school to meet boyfriend? You leave work, your comfort homes to meet a man, in the name of boyfriend, and end up being used for money ritual. Does it mean mercy has been used? Haven't you heard of evil that is happening everywhere, small boys killing girls for money ritual, in the name of girlfriend, and boyfriend? God please save mercy. Will you come and show me the place? <coughs> Officer this is the place. Open this door. I said open this door now. Yes, what can I do for you? Where is the little girl, called Mercy you asked to come to your house? Me officer, I don't know what you are talking about, I don't know anyone called Mercy, in fact, I have not heard that name before. Do you think I came here to joke with you, where is the girl? Answer me, where is Mercy? I don't know what you are talking about. Officer, he is the one, he is Mercy boyfriend, I came here with Mercy, Mercy is in there. Are you surprised, you think she came alone? Now speak, where is Mercy? She is dead, I use her for sacrifice, to increase my wealth. Oh my god. So you lure her to your house to kill her, just for money? Mercy dead. No, no, no. E, 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 Joy was right, boyfriend and girlfriend, is very dangerous now, everybody should stay away from it. You are under arrest. Now move it. E, 
E, E, Mercy is my good friend, why did she have to die like that, what will be of her parent, God have mercy on me, I should have stopped her, when I have the feelings. So you have the feelings, and still went ahead. I'm sorry. You appear, to understand the requirements of God, but willfully refuse to listen, and obey, because you are so drunk with the pleasures, and vanities of sin, that you now neglect God's warning, refusing to pay attention to the danger coming, until it resort to mourning, and weeping. Anyway, the lesson here is that, those who refuse now to listen to the voice of reason, will have their laughter turned, into mourning in the coming days, if they continue to rebel against God, the people who willfully reject all entreaties, to turn a new leaf and repent, will weep and cry, for attention, when they eventually end up, in eternal damnation, so start from today to ask yourself this question, do I want to laugh now, and weep later, or should I rather weep for my sins now, and obtain God's pardon, and forgiveness to enable me laugh, for joy throughout eternity? The choice is wholly yours. God please forgive me. Go and live a righteous life. You will pay dearly, for killing my friend. No, no, no. I thought she came alone. Joy, I should have stopped her. Is okay Helene, she wouldn't have listened, if you have tried to stop her. It could have been me. You are still breathing, learn from it, the world has turned to evil, money rule the world, anything can happen, because of money, be careful, stop hanging out with friends, be sober, be watchful, be vigilant, the coming of Jesus Christ is at hand, evil has multiplied. But our God is there for us, he always comes to the rescue of his children in times of distress, whatever the depth of one's backsliding, or trouble, it is wise to call upon God, he will surely answer, but know that sin will hinder one's deliverance, Isaiah 59, verse 2, how do I overcome sin, especially when I'm hungry for sin? The solution to sin problem, is salvation in Christ Jesus, 1 Peter, 3 verse 18, Christ is the only atonement, the divine appeasement, that heaven acknowledges, he is the key to God's forgiveness, in Christ alone lies the hope of freedom, from the bondage of sin, sickness, affliction, and oppressions, sin is slavery, but God's forgiveness, through Christ's atonement, is true freedom from sin, and its consequences, say no to sin, and renew your consecration, and avoid stains on your garment, if you do not want to miss the rapture, and perish with the people, who are making carnal human, and fleshy choices today. Remember, God's long sufferings, should never be taken for granted, as loving as God is, his eyes are too holy to behold sin, Israel was rejected, because they backslide, God is not a partial judge, the same judgment, awaits all who wantonly, abuse his kindness, and take for granted his forbearance, and deeds of mercy, as loving as God is, he is also a consuming fire, so run for your dear life. Thank you Jesus, for giving me second chance, I promise I will never allow sin to lure me again. God is too just to overlook sin, and take remorse for repentance, in his justice, he warns before bringing judgment, the only response he expects from man is repentance, which is total turning away from sin, in his judgment, he always shows mercy to whosoever is truly penitent. God honors those who honor him, will you honor him today, will you come back to God with all your heart today, don't be careless believers, who soon forget their commitment, and promise to serve God, let us fear, lest we be found to be hypocrites, like Pharaoh, who in times of discipline, walked soberly, prayerfully, and carefully, promising to serve God, but failed to follow through after receiving a respite. Be a true Christian, one that takes correction, and walk towards it. Also, a true Christian is one that hates sin, and everything calls sin. Be a true Christian, stay away from sin, and anything that can attract sin. Thanks for watching. And please, subscribe, like and share. God bless you. And remember Jesus loves you. Give your life to him.